Um, next one we have. Now, this one isn't really a fast food, but it's considered fast food apparently by this person who made this tier list. Boost yeah. juice. Ah, uh, yes, of course, boost juice. Um, boost juice is that kind of place where you think, hmm, I want something nice and that's something that's deemed healthy. Mm-hmm. I'll go to boost and get a juice. <laughs> I'll go to boost and get a juice. <laughs> So yeah, I, believe it or not, I think I've only gone to Boost Juice maybe three oh, yeah. times. Yeah, really? I've yeah. been so many times. Yeah. Do you know why specifically I don't go to Boost Juice that much? Because you, you can buy apple juice or orange juice at home, and because I know. can take an apple, I can take a banana, <laughs> I can just <laughs> chuck them in the mixer, add a bit of milk, add a bit beer. of honey, and oh. add a bit of beer for a little kick, and then. <laughs> Do it myself, um, but they the do. But, sh- but whenever sh- I've gone. gotten a boost juice, it's been delicious and fantastic. Yeah, that's fair. The only issue I have with boost juice is their sizing arrangements. So, the, mm-hmm. the largest cup is called an original. Mm-hmm. The regular is like a medium, mm-hmm. and then they have a small. Oh. So and what's the size? I, so original is the largest. Okay, right. but like, have you got to take a rough idea of how many mils are in a large? Oh, uh, maybe 300, 400 maybe. And then regular might be 250 and then small is like probably like a 150. Okay, so they're actually pretty small is what you yeah. say. Yeah, yes, exactly. Oh. Um, And they're pretty expensive. Like, Boost is considerably expensive. Well, that's because, as you said, it's not really a fast yeah. food place. No, like it's- no. Like it's all fresh, fresh, well, fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. Yeah, and people would like think like, oh, I should get some, you know, I should get my two fruit in my day, and then they go to Boost Juice and like, oh yeah, this is you know healthy. It's got, it's got banana in it. It's got honey in it. It's got. Meanwhile, you just see them like scooping the sugar. <laughs> Let's think because they add yogurt. Like a lot of their um, mm. juices and whatnot have yogurt in it, and their juice. smoothies. Get your juice from Boost Juice. So, yeah. Uh, I could be I could be a guy from a... Yeah. I thought I was going insane hearing voices. That was in our room. I've been hearing it for the last hour. Why is that playing? I don't know, but it's playing. It's what is it? Distractible. My new, uh, my new headphones. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> if I just hold them down for a good minute or so, because they're touch ones... You can just put them back in the... My podcast. I'm going to have to catch up. They are in the case. They should pause when they're in the case. When you close it? When you close the case, though? Yeah. It's a a, a gaming headphone or gaming earbuds. Oh, okay. Anyway, what were we saying? So back to Boost. I'm going to give Boost a B. Uh, B for for Boost. Well, (laughs) funny enough, yeah. They... The prices for Boost... Take it back. Mm Mm-hmm. Hello. (laughs) <laughs> We're all getting bothered. Oh, the stuff was in your pillow. Yeah, my pillow was in the stuff was back. Still slightly deaf, but not in the bed. Okay. 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 This is very nice. 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 This is <laughs> yeah it's funny that we we both married sisters and they're like they're so funny like equally they come and disrupt oh my goodness <laughs> it's, it's funny like, they're so similar yet so different okay next one uh, noodle uh, box I'm, I'm going to give boost, oh sorry i'm going to give boost an a oh because i actually really like the taste of boost juice yeah, it's fair. I mean, and, I do um, too, but the prices and the sizes. I don't. I don't buy it enough to notice the prices too much. And That's even fair. if it is, even if it is more expensive, if I'm going to boost juice to get a, bo- a juice, I'm not going to care how much it costs. Yep, unless it's like unless it's like twenty bucks for like one yeah. original. Yep. Uh, what All to right. now? Where are we the going? No- in this noodle world? box. Noodle box. Ah, see, this is an interesting one because uh, I'm a bit confused, right? Because I've been to many a noodle box, but mm-hmm. I've never gone to. I think I've only gone to one actual noodle box restaurant, if that makes sense. Yeah, that does. So there's heaps of different noodle boxes out there in different places that do noodle box, but that looks like a specific brand of noodle box. Yeah, I'm not familiar with them either. Walk inspired Market Fresh. I think I've been to one. I've been so, to one in the city. All right, well, what I'm going to do with this specific one is I'm going to talk about all noodle boxes in general. Okay, go on. So basically any, you know, obviously noodles in a box. <laughs> and I would have to say I'm going to put Noodle Box 
not specifically this brand, but the type of food, all the way up to SSL. It's oh, wow. Good. Someone yeah. likes noodles. A, we, we love our noodle box. Courtney and I get it. Um, like, whenever we get fast food, it's like one of our top three options. See, now you're making me think, is noodle box the same as walk in a box? Um, well, I don't know. But um, I'm going to assume that, like I said, noodle box is the box of noodles. <laughs> yeah, well, because I mean, that's the thing. I've had Walk in a Box, which is similar to Noodle Box. Okay, so is Walk in a Box noodles in a box? Yes, yes. Well, then basically. it's Noodle Box because yeah. that's what I consider Noodle yeah. Box. Um, I don't, I don't. The problem is, so my thing is, I'm going to put it as don't know because I don't have it at all enough to give it a proper, appropriate rating. So uh-huh. I'm sorry, Noodle Box, but you know, I don't know because I haven't had you that much. Yeah. It's fair enough. But what about, what about, what about noodle boxes in general or walk in a box? I mean, they're okay from memory, from vague okay. memory. Let me, let me I'll try put, to I'll help. Put, I'll, 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 okay, okay. Let me, let me put it for you. Yeah, when you I'll put get noodles in a box from any Asian restaurant, mm-hmm. where would that sit in general? Like if you were to just go to a random Asian restaurant well, I like, I like, box. I like, I like Asian, so B. I'm putting it in B. All uh, right, fair enough. Because I don't have it that much, but I do so, like Asian food. So you're not, so you're not a big fan of like black bean noodle or satay noodle. Not really. Or, no. Okay. no. Yes. Well no. then, yeah. Well, to, to the way you're looking at it, it should be a D. <laughs> a D. Yeah. Okay. D's. That's good. Okay, if, okay. So when I say Mongolian beef noodles, mm-hmm. do you think mmm or do you think? Uh? I think mmm because beef. Okay. What about black bean noodle? Plain noodles. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then I say satay noodles. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's it's specifically so you're just against satay noodles or satay. Yeah, not too massive fan of satay, surprisingly. What about um, curry noodles? Chicken curry noodle. Yeah, I do like chicken curry. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd say just keep it at a C or D then for you. Yeah, because yeah, because you, but... you like noodle boxes, but you have to get a specific one that you like. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. for me, I just kind of like most of them. Yeah. I did, right. I did get a chili one the other day that I was a bit disappointed Ooh, yeah, with. Chili's good. Yeah, but Next this one. was only chili. Next one, Nando's. This is straight to S, man. Straight to S for me. Nando's. Really? I'm gonna Nando's. Go, I'm gonna go with complete trash. Well that's fine by me. I, I'm not gonna get or, defensive. Or, I'm as not I like def- to call it Silver Three. <laughs> <laughs> what a I'm not gonna joke. defend. I'm what not a gonna joke defend of a chicken joint. No no no. So if you, Nando's- if you like Nando's, what kind of idiot? <laughs> We'll go for Nando's. An idiot with you'd taste, Troy. Really, you'd have with to be taste. really the R word. I'm an idiot with taste. So <laughs> Nando's, okay, so, okay, on a story. I didn't I have Nando's him. until I was 20, ooh, how was I, 23, 24? I don't know, you tell um, the story. And I was not a fan of spice food. I hated spicy food until mm. I was introduced to Nando's and their mild topping. I was like, okay, I'll try it because it wasn't too spicy. It was more sweet. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, hmm, I can actually taste a little bit of spice and I don't mind it. So I I remember when I met them three times and I got mild. Mm-hmm. But I was like, hmm, I'm actually liking this a lot. I should try something hotter. You really so are white. From, yeah, thanks. So I went from <laughs> <laughs> So I went straight from mild to extra hot. And mm-hmm. I've never gone back. Like never so, gone back to going back to mild. I've just gone extra hot every every time I go there. Is what about with other spicy foods? Yes, I my my love for spice has gone. Okay, just because of Nando's. Okay, so is that just because Nando's was one of the only places where you could get mild spice? Well, this well, yeah, in, in in a takeaway form, yes, because otherwise, the only time I had spice was when Mum made curries back in the day <laughs> when I was living at home, and I and never were, really liked them that much. I was going to say your mum probably didn't know how to make curries properly. No, she did. She did. She did. No, I meant properly, as in she probably <clears> gave. How, how old would you be at the time? Uh, late teenagers. What about how young? What's the youngest when you had a curry? I guess made by your mom. Probably 15, 14, maybe. Okay, so she didn't make them when you were really young? No, no. Okay, so you're a 15 year old and suddenly you get a plate of this extra spicy hot curry put in front of you. No wonder you (laughs) didn't like spice. You had to build your way up to it. Yeah. Um, Well, I mean, yeah. But but I guess that's the only way to do it, though. But I'm glad I did. Let me ask you a question here. When sure. was the last time you went to Nando's? Last week. 
Oh, okay, so you do go quite a bit. You do go to Nando's quite a bit. <laughs> you get member points, perk points. You, and you, so basically, if you burn up perk points, you go to a Nando's, you order for something, and it's like, oh, you can use your perk points, and you don't pay a cent. Uh, I just want to check one thing here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, nah. I'm not the biggest <laughs> fan of Nando's. I've never understood their spices are all right. It's just Perry yeah. Perry chips is also the best. One of the best. Perry Perry <laughs> chips and KFC chips are the best chips. I mean, I'll agree. I like peri peri chips, but last time I had them was ages ago. I last yeah. time I went to Nando's was like probably before COVID. Yeah, yeah okay. Like two years. Fair enough. Because do you know why? Because I don't know. Ah, they're crappy. The food's, <laughs> the food's pre- their food's pretty plain. They got normal. They got the normal amount of spice. They make um average. They make average homemade. Like anything they make at Nando's, I can make at home. Basically. Yeah, it's fair. Like even well, their sauces, I can get a Coles one that's just that's very similar to a Nando sauce now. Well, you can buy their sauces at Coles and Woolworths now as well, which there's, is nice. There's just one, que- yeah, but I can buy the Coles brand sauce that tastes true, very similar. True, true, yeah, true. Good point, good point. But uh, I just have one quick question because it's been ages since I've gone to Nando's. Do they do? Do they do any? They do fried chicken, or do they only do grilled? Because last time I went, I think they grilled. did grilled. Yes, yeah, so they don't. Yeah, so nah, I'm not a fan of grilled chicken. Oh I'm really? Grilled, okay. I, yeah, I don't I mind. Know. I don't mind grilled chicken, but why have grilled when I can have it uh, lathered in batter? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. They're kind of like the opposite of the KFC because KFC is all fried chicken, while mm. Nando's is all grilled. But Correct. yeah, yeah. Which uh, I guess, if you want a healthy alternative. Yeah. Next one. Okay, so you you went trash for Nando's. I did go trash for. Nando's. I'm sorry, Schnitz, but you're complete trash. What? I'd put, okay. schnitz, I'd put schnitz up in the middle. With, okay. Uh, As a South Australian, schnitz is an embarrassment. Oh, really? For, no, it, well, it's not an embarrassment. It's... it's uh, well, you know oh, what I say about a South Australian. What's the word? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. It's an embarrassment. <laughs> As a, I'm, it's, 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 oh, I'm trying to think of the word here. It's an absolute oh, waste of... It's just... It's, it's, a, it's a joke, right? Mm-hmm. So, all right. This is long story quick. But do you okay. realize the difference between Nando's and Snitz for me is literally the spice? Nando's well, just like, has no, no, spice. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. It's not about the. It's not about the spice. Schnitz. At least right. the Schnitz you can get it. Fried when you go to Schnitz, when you go to Schnitz, you get you get a the Schnitz. So that's this big. No, no bigger than that. Right. No bigger than that. No matter what you get. It's about that size. It's like they took a chick, cut it up, and okay. put it into a Schnitzel. It's the smallest thing ever. Really? And the I worst part is no, the worst part is when you get a schnitzel that big with chips, you usually get a topping as well and a it, drink. It's about twelve. Vi- it's for is twelve dollars. Is this in it's, Victoria or is this in yes? South no, this Australia. is Victoria. This is Victoria. Are you sure? Last time I went yes. to schnitzel, it was about uh, like a normal size piece. Well, okay, right. Okay, remember that, right? In South Australia, most of the pubs in South Australia all have schnitzel nights. Mm-hmm. Cleve Pub had ten dollars schnitzel nights where you get a beef or chicken schnitzel like the same size as the plate like a massive plate Mm -hmm. you get chips and salad and a drink as well all for $10 okay so um, what you're saying about that so when you say the schnitz from schnitzel do you mean specifically like just just a plain chicken schnitzel Yes, the mean? chicken okay. schnitzels are like so small. Like it's yeah, like, no, I'd say they're about average size. Like uh, yeah. this is this is a this is a one from uh, from Snitz. This is a pub mm-hmm. one. Like, yeah, there's pubs, very little yeah. difference between them. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. From what I've seen, but mm. also you don't go to Snitz to actually get a schnitzel. You go to get a, a schnitzel in a in a wrap or a burger. That's where the, yeah, that's but, where it really tastes good. Yeah, but I want a real schnitzel. If I want a real schnitzel, I'll go want, to a pub. I won't, I won't go to schnitz because that. Which is that, why people don't buy. The only people who buy schnitzels from schnitz is Courtney, <laughs> <laughs> and she only buys it. And she only buys it is because we're out to lunch, and she doesn't want to go to a pub to get. She doesn't want to go to a pub at twelve o'clock in the in the afternoon. Put it this way, right? Subway have better chicken schnitzel than schnitz do. What? I, I yeah. actually couldn't comment on that because I don't go to Subway very much. Fair I? enough. Fair enough. So the price and value for schnitz is the reason why it's complete trash because the schnitzels are so underwhelming. The reason also another thing is because I'm from South Australia. South Australia has a German heritage. This, if you want a real schnitzel, go to South Australia. Mm. So. No, you're wrong. If you want a real schnitzel, come to my place. <laughs> 
I'll make you a real schnitzel. Yeah, das, Vog, well, das Vogel schnitz. Well, you better make one so next time. I'll, I'll tell you a little, a little, little story about uh, my chicken schnitzels. So Go on, I, make it quick. I, I've got a mate, right? And um, his mum used to uh, buy pre-crumbed chicken schnitzels and uh, feed them, and like that's how that's how they'd have chicken schnitzel. Okay. That's... And I went to their place one time, and he cooked me a pre-crumbed chicken schnitzel, and I was like. Oh, thanks for the food, but oh, this is gross. <laughs> he ca- he came to my place, right? And mm. I got out the I got out the chicken, started cutting it up. I like to make smaller schnitzels. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't like to, like I I've just gotten used to doing it. It's easier to fry them up. I can still make a big one, but I just cut them up into small chicken pieces. He comes over, I cut up the chicken, I start crumbing it, and he goes, "What are you doing?" And I go, "Making chicken schnitzel." And he goes. <laughs> What? I oh, know he goes. Yeah, he goes. He goes. What are you doing? I thought we were having chicken schnitzel. And I go, I am making chicken schnitzel. Oh, and he okay. goes, Isn't it pre? Isn't it pre-packaged and already crumbed? And I go, Yeah, if you want the crap stuff. Yeah. And I cooked true. him chicken. I cooked him the best chicken schnitzel he's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, the bread crumbs is what makes it. That's it. Well, the funny thing is, with our our bread crumbs now, we have a combination of um, of. To- we take the to- you know the ends of breads mm-hmm. and we uh, toast them up and then vitamize them Ooh, and nice. then mix them with and then we uh, mix them with wheat, wheat old wheat bix that have been like the wheat bix crumbs wheat have also bix. been vitamized right, and we okay. mix them together. Yeah, right. That's different. Didn't actually. You know what? I think I've heard something like that before. It's just left. It's just you use your leftover bread and leftover yeah, bix yeah. bits and vitamize yeah, them up. Yeah, I reckon. Before. That sounds great. It is great, especially the, if you want just plain Weepix as well, like the plain Weepix mm-hmm. ones. They're really good too because they become really mm. fine. Yeah, fair enough. Well, yeah, schnitzel's still, still uh, complete trash, but anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose the next one. We just spoke about it, but I'm going to go yeah. Subway. Subway. I'm going to put in. Oh, you're uh, put Subway. Okay. I'm not going to put in complete trash, but I'm going to put it in the D catalog, also known okay. as Gold Three. I'm putting it in because that's where they deserve. I'm putting in A. Now, the number one reason why I put it lower <laughs> is mm. because A. I don't. Oh, actually, I just I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to put it up, and you're going to love this. I'm going to put it up from a gold three up to a uh, grand champ. Oh no, wow, grand that's, a, that's a fair and jump. Do you, and do you know why? Cookies. Cookies. It's the <laughs> I'm going to put in the same spot as you because of the cookies. Because the main well, thing I, I go yeah. to Subway for are their M and M cookies. Yeah, the rain- they call them. It's funny because they call them rainbow cookies. Yeah, I love when them. they're clearly M and M's. But I yeah, I put them. Cookies. I put them in A. I, I, they're not the That's same fair. as KFC or Nando's, but are they good? That's fair. But um, honestly, with the wraps, I, I like their wraps. Their wraps are yummy. I haven't had many of them to be honest. I can probably yep. count on one hand how many wraps I've had from Subway. Okay, but. And this is with me in a lot of fast food places. Is I'm not the biggest fan of a fast food place if I can make the food myself really easily. Yeah, fair enough. And Subway, it's just it's just a sandwich. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just you know, like yeah, I can make meatball sub. I'll just cook up some meatballs and put it in a sandwich. Yeah, I don't like that idea of having a meat like I'm not. Sub. A, I'm just not the biggest, to me. I'm not the biggest fan of meatball subs to be. Yeah, that's with. fair. No, that's fair. I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, no Subway. I don't want to talk about it too much because it's just it's just got nice variety of foods like meat, salads, cheeses, and the cookies are the best. Mm, I do like the fact that you can combine like you can make a custom sub. That's good. It's mm. always good for uh, for what because what you want at the time. Yeah, um, the next one we're gonna do is Zambrero. Zambrero. Which one's that? so? It's the Z. It's literally a green Z. It's the Z. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have never been to Zambrero. I'm going to put Don't huh? Know. I'm going to put that in the I'm... bronze catalogue. They've just started for me. <laughs> <laughs> the unranked. The unranked. Unranked. That's it. I should change it to unranked, but that's the same thing. <laughs> I'm, putting, to... I'm putting Zambrero up to B. Oh, yeah? Why is but that in, a good, in the good side of B, like B+, plus, right? Tell me about Zambrero. Um, I didn't have Zambrero until three, two or three years ago. Mm-hmm. There was one. There's one in uh, what town is it? Traralgon. 
right? So I, w- I went to walk in Traugen for a few times. Okay. And mm-hmm. one of the places I worked at was literally just down the road from a Zambrero. I was like, hmm, I've seen ads for Zambrero. Okay. So I went to there. And basically, it's like a subway, but you make your own nachos and or cas- casadellas or uh, wraps oh, so, or whatever. So it's a Mexican make it yourself place. Yeah, basically. Cool. Except well, sounds- they, you, cho- you choose the ingredients and then you make it for you. That's, that sounds genuine. I'm going to move that straight up to a... Uh- I'm gonna put that with schnitz in the middle. You didn't let me. Get, you didn't let me get to the good part. Oh, well, they serve alcohol. Oh, okay. Mm. So and um, part of the amazing. alcohol is they have uh, Jack Daniels and Canani Club. Oh wow! So it's 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 just like a lot of places. So I'm only putting on B though because there's no not many of them around and they're hard to find. Ah, okay. But the, 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 it's so good. Like the food's so good. The nachos are so good. Sounds um, like there's some Zambozos. 